effort to forge a hostage release and truce in the seven month war. Delegations from Hamas and Israel are back at the negotiation table in Cairo. Israel's close ally Washington, which is also involved in the negotiations along with Qatar and Egypt, says it's hopeful that the two sides can close the remaining gaps. Although Hamas officials have warned Israel that the talks in Cairo will be their last chance to free the estimated 128 hostages still held in Gaza. In addition to that, Hamas official Osama Hamdan has also warned that if Israel's military aggression continues in Rafa, there will be no ceasefire deal. If the aggression continues, there will be no ceasefire because Israelis are the ones attacking and shooting. It is normal for the resistance to respond to this aggression, to respond in defense and to respond in order to defeat the occupation. The latest attempt to achieve a truce in the ongoing war comes at a time when Israel sent tanks into Rafa in southern Gaza, seizing the border crossing with Egypt. In an operation, the United Nations said denied it access to the key humanitarian passage. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the military's capture of the Gaza side of the Rafa crossing is an important step towards dismantling Hamas. Israel believes Rafa is where four Hamas battalions are stationed. Well, Tuesday's capture of the crossing, which is one of the main channels for humanitarian aid into the territory, puts Israel in full control of Gaza's borders for the first time since it withdrew troops in 2005. According to Defence Minister Yoav Gallant, Israel will continue its operation in the southern city of Rafa until Hamas are destroyed in the area or they hand over the Israeli hostages it still holds. Yesterday, I directed the IDF to enter the Rafah area, take the crossing and carry out its mission. This operation will continue until we eliminate Hamas in the Rafah area and the entire Gaza Strip, or until the first hostage returns. We are willing to make compromises in order to bring back hostages, but if that option is removed, we will go on and deepen the operation. This will happen all over the Strip, in the south, in the center, and in the north. We know that Hamas only responds to force. Israel has brushed off urgent warnings from close allies. The White House says Israel must reopen Gaza's Rafah border crossing with Egypt. The US, which is Israel's main military and diplomatic backer, has repeatedly said it opposes a major offensive in Rafah, where more than 1.2 million displaced Palestinians are currently living. The US is voicing skepticism about Israel's military move into Rafah after Israel told them that the current operation is of limited scope, scale and duration. Well, despite those assurances from Israel, according to a local hospital in Gaza City, an Israeli airstrike has killed at least seven people and wounded several others in the city. The strike on an apartment in the devastated northern city killed seven members of the same family. While eyewitnesses are also reporting strikes elsewhere in the Strip, particularly around Rafa. On the other hand, in a bid to provide more humanitarian aid into the war stricken Gaza, according to the Pentagon, the US military has completed construction of its Gaza aid pier, but weather conditions mean it is currently unsafe to move the two-part facility into place. Well, for more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from Ranana. So I think there are three key questions at the moment. What's happening in Rafa? What's happening with the aid? And what's happening with the hostage talks? On Rafa, Israel says it's carrying out targeted operations in Hamas's last stronghold to put pressure on Hamas. And the IDF said it took efforts to evacuate civilians and has taken control of the Gazan side of the Rafa crossing. On aid, the Rafa crossing is temporarily closed and the plan is reportedly for a private security firm to manage it rather than Hamas to prevent smuggling. Now, the Kerem Shalom crossing has reopened after Hamas's attacks on Monday and Tuesday, 
The other crossings are open and the US has said it's finished building the new aid pier. And on the hostage talks, while Hamas said that they accepted Israel's offer, mediators are reportedly frustrated by Hamas's new demands and reports are saying that large gaps remain between the sides. So, for example, Israel is calling for the release of living hostages in the first phase of the deal, while Hamas says it could release dead hostages. Hamas wants Israel to have no say on which Palestinian security prisoners Israel releases, while Israel doesn't want to release those with most blood on their hands. And Hamas wants a permanent ceasefire before all the hostages are returned. Israel would end the war, it says, after the hostages are home, as long as Hamas is no longer in power on Israel's border. Meanwhile, the talks are set to continue on Wednesday.